Yeah! No! Oh. Report to you live here at Blue Mountain for the Retro Pod Skill. It's live for last week's episode 119. Let's go! Midpoint. <laughs> Welcome here, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week I served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. First of all, I want to throw it back to last night when I said this. I was off to go straight to the Toronto Climbing Academy in East York. But unfortunately, guys, you'll have to wait until next week's episode to see the music video for that. Well, here now is that music video of me and my co-workers rock climbing and bouldering with Indy, Victoria, and Kennedy. And after stopping by the nearby Rally Sports Bar and Smokehouse for some delicious post-climbing food and drinks, I got home after a very exhausting and long day, only to be able to sleep about four hours or so before doing what we did last week and going to Epic Sports in Scarborough for a badminton session with the wife, Gio, G, and Elrod. And now, after a three hour badminton session, recalling this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, earlier I looked online and saw a pretty good offer for Canada men's national soccer team tickets. So, guess who went online and bought two tickets and is ready to cheer on the Canada national side for their match next Tuesday. Along with my Team Canada soccer gear, including that jersey that I wore for the World Cup while I was in Cuba, with this Canada scarf and a Canada tube that my buddy Ramez got me. I am currently at the aforementioned BMO field with also the aforementioned Ramez to watch the CONCACAF Nations League match between Honduras and our World Cup Canada men's national soccer team.
But guys, quickly, before we wrap it up for the evening, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with a birthday shout out to one of my classmates in university who I graduated with in 2009. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends of whom is also a big Jays fan. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after witnessing that great performance of a football match by the Canadian men's national team, having so much fun watching it with my buddy, Ramez. <laughs> right there, that's the man! Build him a statue! It will definitely be a memory that I won't forget anytime soon. We also got interviewed by One Soccer, the programming network that was carrying this game. I think like a Laren race. So I would say we'll score at least three goals today. Where I made this prediction. Uh, I got 4-1 for Canada. And lo and behold, check out what the final score of the game ended up being. Anyways, today being a rest day, with me trying to recover from all the busy and jam-packed days that I had on my days off, which included an all-day snowboarding adventure up at Blue Mountain, going rock climbing and bouldering at night, playing and competing in a three-hour badminton session, and watching a soccer match in the cold all in the span of the past 48 hours, I'll be going in tonight for my first in a set of three night shifts. But prior to that, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my former Y6TA friends from back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Taylor. Happy birthday, Taylor. As well as a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering was a big fan of theme parks and roller coasters. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today, post night shift, after picking up the wife from our friend Paul's condo downtown, I was honestly feeling pretty tired, but was able to get in a pretty decent post night shift nap in. I was also pretty excited because for my Blue Jays fans out there, wearing my Blue Jays jersey and my hat that I put in the laundry last year and got shrunk, and waiting all winter for this day, today is the opening day of the Blue Jays 2023 season. Which is a little bit bittersweet because I also have some sad news. Getting similar vibes of how I felt two years ago when the Tim and Sid show was coming to an end, the dynamic duo of Tim McAuliffe and Sid Sixero has their last episode on Sportsnet later on today. This time in less than two weeks, after its two year run coinciding with the Blue Jays home opener, one of my favorite shows, the Tim and Friends show, is coming to an end. So I'm just going to cherish these next two weeks that the show will still be on air, continue to watch and support it every evening at 5pm. But anyways guys, before I go in for my second of my scheduled three night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First up, a birthday shout out to one of my university classmates who I graduated with back in 2009. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Anne. Happy birthday, Anne. And we've got a birthday shout out to one of my cousins in the States who always makes me laugh and I enjoy visiting every time I'm in the Vegas area. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jen. Happy birthday, Jen. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So just before I went in for my crazy busy night shift last night, I realized that the wife and I were both wearing blue in our support for the Blue Jays in their 2023 season opener yesterday. As well as me being in awe of her getting her hair done for a special outing last night with her co-workers. Anyways, throwing back to a couple of these scenes from an event that I participated in almost a year ago, guess who just signed up to get her on their bike to participate in the Bike for Brain Health event this year with a special bonus of using a promo code for a free registration fee. So I'm really hopeful that I have that day, Sunday, June 4th off, so that I can bike on the DVP for that fundraiser once again. 
Now, on to another spontaneous buy that I had today. Where last week I went to Blue Mountain to renew my 2023-2024 Blue Mountain 5x7 pass. I got an email from Blue Mountain that they had a promotion for their village suites being able to be booked this weekend for prices as low as 100 bucks a night. So I went online to book a room for both my parents and I to treat ourselves out for tomorrow night. For which my dad, when I messaged him, really hoped that it wasn't an April Fool's joke. But yeah guys, I'm really excited to make my way up there tomorrow morning. Right after I go in for my third of my scheduled three night shifts tonight. But before I go into work this evening, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my FCAR friends that I made going on that camping trip back in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Fosto. Happy birthday, Fosto. I'm hoping that my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. First of all, I want to wish everybody a happy April Fool's Day. Welcome to April, guys. So today, once again, post night shift, like this scene in a previous Laugh From Last Week video, I am up at Blue Mountain today, getting some free lift tickets courtesy of my 5x7 renewal pass. Woo, got my all day passes courtesy of the 5x7 renewal pass for next year. Up here to treat Tito Eddie and Tita Nancy to a nice night out with the accommodations that I set up for them here. Here we are, hi. Boop, boop. Okay, go ahead. Mommy, come here. <laughs> it's just having an honeymoon. <laughs> this is our bed. Honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. This could be. Hey. Instant coffee. <laughs> Not bad. We have a balcony. <laughs> yeah. See? Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful parking lot. Facing the parking lot. Facing the parking lot. Beautiful accommodation. <laughs> We're in the higher end. Yes. Nice. Looking Beautiful. down at all the peasants. <laughs> <laughs> and see some old friends that I haven't seen in a decade since our times at Rob's Beach Volleyball Group at Ash Bridges. Yo, I'm here for the first time in 10 years meeting up with Raf and Tia. Hey, what up? And people from ORT. Yeah. Yo, who's doing the pod skim today? Yeah, I'm Hell yeah. And he's Hello, Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you hear it first. Yo. <laughs> to get some last minute season snowboarding in and to check out the Blue Mountain Red Bull Pod Skim. Man, what a fun day today was! Even capturing some of my friends' retro pond skim, pond skims. Come on, let's go, Raph! Let's go, Raph! Speaker, relax. Oh, Tia! Oh! Woohoo, Tia, way to go! And before we wrap it up for the day, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made at the Scotiabank Waterfront Marathon. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. I'm hoping that at this time you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. 
So after wrapping up the night doing a hula hoop competition with Tita Mone and Tito Eddie. Go Tita Mone, go Tito Eddie, go, 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 go. <laughs> and me competing with the parentals in this competition. Then me heading back to our Blue Mountain Suite to catch some NCAA basketball action with somewhat of an amazing comeback buzzer beater as shown here. Running off no sleep all day post night shift, I passed out on the pullout couch for the night, getting in one of the greatest sleeps I've had in a long time before waking up right before the sunrise this morning, taking in all these beautiful blue mountain views and getting out to the balcony with my hot chocolate in hand and enjoying the aforementioned blue mountain sunrise. I then headed to the resort gym to do a quick morning workout, utilizing all the different machines that they had here, doing a little warm up before heading out to the beautiful outdoor hot tub here to enjoy a morning coffee in weather that felt like negative eight degrees outside. And now before we leave the beautiful Blue Mountain Resort for the weekend and head back to Toronto for my fourth night shift in the span of five nights to get a pre-night shift meal at a place that I went with the parents several weeks back at Scarborough's Perfect Restaurant. Hi Nika. We're having perfect without you. Hey. We have a couple of birthday greetings for a couple of my St. Stephen's high school classmates out there. With the first birthday shout out going out to you, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. As well as a birthday shout out to one of the most athletic high school classmates that I've had when I was at that school. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. I'm hoping that my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So last night, taking the TTC to work, for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode in the past, I took advantage of the lowered TTC fares before they implemented a 10 cent TTC fare hike overnight. And after the wife dropped off the mini for me to drive today, then me pretending to my coworker that I had a Turo membership, and that the Mini Cooper was actually a rental car for our morning commute and not having the opportunity to hang out with her outside of work since the work holiday party last year. This morning, we had our newest guest in the Mini Carpool. Yo, check it out. Guess what I have in my new car rental Mini Carpool with the sunroof open. Hi. It's Bea. Anyways guys, before I go into my fifth scheduled night shift in the span of six nights, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with one of my beach volleyball friends who I haven't played beach volleyball with in a couple of years. This birthday shout out goes out to you Dentor. Happy birthday Dentor. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my former coworkers at BBG who is also a big Blue Jays fan. This birthday shout out goes out to you Sean. Happy birthday Sean. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering was one of the most hilarious people to hang out with back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Brandon. Happy birthday, Brandon. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And with that, guys, we've come up to the end of this week's jam-packed episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.